give a color correction, the goal here is not to pull on your dog's neck, but rather just to jiggle this clasp without pulling on your dog's neck. So it takes a lot of finesse and this whip action with your wrist. This is really tough to do. So it's that whip action so that this clasp is just jiggling on the collar without pulling on your dog's neck. Okay, you can't discourage any behavior by tightening up on the leash. All that does is send tension down the lead and uh, get your dog more worked up in most cases. Um, so this correction that I'm talking about, uh, it's much more effective when you have the right collar on there. With a flat collar, they're, they're not very effective at all. Um, with a, a rolled leather collar, um, you can do this without pulling your dog's neck and get the result. Now, there's plenty of other types of corrections, and it really depends on what your dog, how responsive your dog is as to what type of correction you should use. Um, some dogs, and you want to make sure your collar corrections aren't heavy-handed as well. I mean, I don't want the dog to be afraid of me. I just want her to know there's boundaries and she needs to hold to them. So, for some dogs, this little collar correction like that will send the dog reeling and she'll be afraid of it. And with other dogs, you can practically pull their head off and it has no effect. So, um, with those sensitive dogs, you probably want to use an audible correction instead of a collar correction. Something like, Psst, or, ah! It's probably good enough, and even your tone and how and how loud you use that correction um, can be harsh and and uh, heavy-handed for those types of dogs.